Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Dead video. Um, in this video, it's gonna be different than my other ones about tips and tricks and stuff for the game itself. Instead, I wanna actually share with you some companion things that are websites and apps. First, we're gonna to go to the websites and their interactive maps that can help you track your progress or help you search out different areas to find things. So let's go ahead and go to the first one. And the first one is actually through a website, and there'll be a link in the description, is Red Dead Redemption 2 map.de. And if you go ahead and look at the key over here on the left-hand side, you can pick and choose what you want on the map. So first off, you can go right down here to where it says hide all, and you can turn everything off. So then you can just one by one turn whatever you want on so it's not congested and you can kind of see what you're wanting to try to do. Um, it's really cool because it covers, you know, stranger missions. Um, even if you want to search out dream catchers and rock carvings, dinosaur bones, uh, plants, fish locations. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So anyway, um, I'll show you another thing with this uh, map real quick. If you go over here to the right hand side, you can actually uh, click on the magnifying glass and you can type in and search for whatever you're wanting to find. Uh, then below that, you can actually back up your data so you can save your map. And below that, you can actually restore it. So if you come back to the website, you can pick up where you're at. And then at the bottom, you can add notes and stuff to it. So you can either uh, manually uh, zoom in or you can use this here, right here on the key on the right hand side. And um, it's pretty detailed or whatever. Like I said, this isn't a rock star um, website, but they've done a really great job in incorporating the uh, map with it. So uh, I've used this a lot. I mean, it's really helpful. Um, you know, it's it's just overall helps a lot without having to constantly go to your start menu and, uh, you know, kind of getting confused, especially if you're on Red Dead Online, because you're going to be doing that and you get shot in the head or something. So anyway, let's go ahead and go to the next website real quick. And this is the one I use more frequently anyway. It's rdr2map.com. Uh, this one's a little bit more detailed, actually. Uh, so, you know, you can actually do, if you want to find the fences, the general store, doctors, barbers, it has everything on there. Um, you know, even mini games and landmarks. Um, and this one, like it says, Easter eggs on it. So it's not so much secrets. So this is the one I use the most. Um, you know, the reason I'm showing both, just because depending on your browsers, one might not be responsive to just enough on whatever you're using. And you may not like this one. You might not like what I like, whatever. So I just figured I'd share both of them uh, just so you had something to choose from. But this one's the same way as the other one was too. I mean, you could turn things on and off. I mean, you can even go down to the bottom just like before and you can hide everything, turn everything off. Um, you know, there's a pro version of this where you can end up getting uh, the different like cougars and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, I mean, you can use between the two if you want to. But you know, the, this is the free version, whatever. So um, I still use this one more so just because it seems a little bit more simple for me. So anyway, uh, I just want to go ahead and go to the apps or whatever um, and show you the different options on those. The first one we're going to look at actually is a Rockstar app. It actually goes through your social club um, account, um, but it's really cool. It has everything that the game has itself. Um, but what I like about this, like I said, you can click on whatever you want to for all your stuff. But if you click on the map, and as you can see, this is actually my location on the game right now. Um, you can actually see where my horse is at. You can see where I'm at. And what's good about this, especially if you have a computer monitor close by, because um, I know some um, smartphones you can actually project your screen or if you're using a tablet which is better of course because a bigger screen you can actually um, con consistently always search your map out and know if there's people close to you so if you're fishing and stuff because I know you're blind in that area this helps out a lot if you're fishing because you can see if someone's close to you and they're getting ready to put a hatchet in the side of your head or shoot you uh, you can kind of see them coming up close so you know especially if you're doing like a a fishing mission or whatever and you got a cartload of fish you can see if people are getting close to you ahead of time because trying to watch both of them it does get a little um, confusing and um, really slows you down so I figured this will help out a lot I've used it a lot for that reason uh, let's go ahead and pull up the next app and the next app is actually the companion app to the rdr2map.com it's just this is the mobile version so it works the same way um, and I just wanted to show this one also too because you may not like the other one So I just want to give you guys options, but this one works the same if you press on the three bars on the top left It brings down the different options whatever too, and you can turn all these off the same way you can hide all um, And show all whatever you want to do there. So it, it's pretty cool in that respect too 
with that. Um, you know, the only drawback with this one, it does not do, um, of course, it doesn't watch yourself um, on the game uh, live. Uh, so that's the only drawback between the two. So, I mean, if you want to I mean, if you want to go all out and then do your app or a tablet too, I mean, it, you could do whatever you want to, of course, but I just wanted to show you different options. So anyway, guys, uh, like I said, you know, I didn't want to just do videos just to be doing videos, but I figured this could help you guys. Um, you know, I didn't want to clickbait you guys and say, hey, new um, Red Dead Online uh, update, and you guys are clicking on here thinking there's a new update, and I know something about it. None of us know anything. You know, I see a lot of people asking people, hey, tell us about it. None of us know anything. Uh, when Rockstar wants to do it, Rockstar is going to do it. Um, the game's not dead, definitely. Um, they're just taking their time, and they can because they own it. <laughs> so as long as we're patient or whatever, I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, but this is the time to grind out money. This is the time to, um, you know, grind out um, XP uh, because I'm sure there's going to be another things that are upgraded are going to be locked for XP and you're going to need money. Um, hopefully we'll have some kind of ranches or something like that. I'm sure we'll have something like that and you don't want to be wishing, man, I wish I would have done that before they patched a bunch of these things. So anyway, check out a lot of my videos. I have a lot of different things for XP and um, money methods and stuff like that because I'm sure when the next updates come out, those things are probably Probably going to start getting patched and then we're going to be out of luck so anyway if you guys enjoyed this video i just encourage you please uh, give it a like and give it a share uh, and also too if you're not already and you've been watching the videos i encourage you please subscribe and click the notification bell so when i do have videos come out you can get them right away you don't have to wait you don't have to search through youtube um, i try to give legit things and stuff that actually go along with the thumbnails so i don't want to try to fool you guys because um, you know, it's going to not work out in my favor in the long run doing that, and it never does for anyone. So anyway, guys, like always, I'll see you next time.